Today's segment of Hello St. Louis is sponsored by Sterling Transportation and Limousine Service. The St. Louis-based limo service will have you arriving at your party or event in style. For more information or affordable pricing, call 314-774-7837. Hello, St. Louis, and welcome to HonestTL.com with Ron and George. That's easy for you to say, Ron. And the bicycle hater, <laughs> George Ridnick. <laughs> well, I guess I got in a little bit of trouble there because I did the uh, What's Joy Thinking on um, Hating Bicyclists. <laughs> yeah, boy, you heard it. There's a group in New York City, uh, a, a lot of bicycle yeah, riders, I and, and wondered, man, they hate you. Uh, they, ha they hate me. Hate me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I don't know what their deal is. They say that they are uh, bicyclist snobs, bicycle snobs. Bi bike snobs. Does that mean that they are they like bikes? And yes, of course. Oh, or they're snobby about it. And they hate you. Okay. Not well, that's fine. Well, really, their hate, it was just so lame. It was like, oh, she's a middle-aged woman with too much makeup. Well, listen. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> that's, you know, oh, we're talking that's about you vicious, in particular. But, yes. but, but anyway, uh, the uh, What's Joy Thinking is on honestdeal.com right now. If you haven't seen it yet, go look at it and see what Joy's talking about. Yes. Why all these bicycle snobs hate her. Here we have a guest, Mike. Uh, Mike Roth, yeah, yeah. Is, is with us. Uh, Mike Roth's blog is great. It's about St. Louis hip hop. If you haven't seen that on honestdeal.com yet, do that. Hi, Mike. Hi, Ron. And he's here Mike, for a reason. you're the coolest. <laughs> you're the coolest, Look, Joy. I, even if I have too much makeup. Even if you have too much makeup. You're the greatest. That's part of your getup, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. You know, really, I think maybe uh, what I'm trying to do is break into rap. <laughs> You've told me. Good luck. Yeah. As a, You've as told a me. middle aged woman. And that's why he avoids you in the hallways, Joy. Uh -huh. uh, Mike, by the way, just finished today, Joy. He just finished this morning the new uh, Volma Ramon video. Well, I can't wait to see it. When I do that, I snap back like the hat. At it again, neighbors and friends. This is part of me. I won't change. I defend and I stand next to every word I say as a man dumb enough to believe. We're seeing it right now. It's called Last Man Standing. If you want to see the whole video, it's right below ours on the front page of honestdeal.com. Look at Mike. Does he look like a guy who's going to be doing uh, hip hop videos no. and doing them very well? well actually, yeah. I, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I don't know. Yeah, There's I gotta fit in this. with the persona of what people expect of hip hop, right? So a what? Little bit. Seriously, when you approach hip hop artists in St. Louis, and there are a, a few, there's a, there are numbers. Yeah, yes. it's, it's, in fact, it's quite uh, a thing in St. Louis. Actually, do you think we can name? Uh, have we already made a name for ourselves on the map as, you know, we St. have Louis? so much. Uh, we have in, in the past, and the thing is is, is that um, really aside from Nelly, we haven't had anyone with any sustained success. So oh. we'll, we'll get a person who gets really hot with one particular song, and then after that, um, they kind of fizzle out, and you don't really hear from them again. But isn't that what you're trying to change? Yeah, we're try so we're trying to change that, and because we do have an incredibly active hip-hop community here in St. Louis, and even people who enjoy hip-hop in St. Louis don't know that much about about it and so part of that is is, is uh, some awareness getting people known for what is uh, what's going on in the hip-hop okay. scene so for the artists for the videos they're doing their music so when the skinny white guy with the dark grim glasses shows mm -hmm. up and says I can do a hip-hop video for you what is their initial response to well that? you know I, I knew that firsthand it was gonna be very hard for us to get our first artist to get on board with us because before I've only really done narrative work before I haven't done anything that's in the hip-hop realm I've just been a fan of hip-hop music since mm -hmm. the age of 12 so I knew it was going to be really hard to kind of snag the first artist and get them to have complete trust in what yes. I'm doing. How did you so, do it? Well, I just uh, created a bunch of ads online for people. And it's it's actually really weird. I, I had hired someone as an intern to help us with some production we were doing on narrative shorts. And he happened to be in the car with a hip hop artist who's a friend of one of his friends. So they're all riding along in the car. And this hip hop artist is like, man, I really need... A music video done and this intern that we had hired on was like i know these guys <laughs> yes. they just want to get into hip-hop music videos you, you might get it for why free. don't you talk to them you must and be so, magical i mean in the right place at the right time yeah with it was it was it was really cool so um once he got involved and his name is doughboy and he's uh the guy that Damn, we've done the most that work was gonna with. be my name and oh uh, <laughs> you can be doe girl How's that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, we, we got on board with him, and we did a number of videos with him. I'm talking like six or seven music videos. And since then, it's been really easy because people recognize us for the previous work we've done, mm -hmm. and it kind of works on like a referral basis. People will see the video, ask the artist who did the video, and then we'll hook up that way. Now, you have this thing about hip-hop videos being pretty much all the same. In fact, uh, Last Man Standing deals with that. Topic. That's right. Uh, and so you've set out to make 
two very, very interesting and different hip hop videos. I think the, the, the point in being an artist is to be different, but to also be yourself. And I think a lot of people, and this is true in hip hop music and hip hop music videos, the point isn't to be yourself, it's to, to do what's current and what's hot and what's successful mm, right yeah. now. So what happens is, is one song or one music video will get really hot and then you'll see everyone copycat, yeah. uh, copycatting off of that to try and replicate that success. And what happens is, is then everything becomes oversaturated and the same. And you really can't differentiate between artist A and artist B because their music sounds identical because it's supposed to sound identical. And same thing with the videos. So what I'm trying to do with the music videos is bring a different perspective to music videos, inject a little more of kind of the art making of videography into these videos, and just show people what a hip hop music video could be instead of what people today associate with hip hop music video. If you're not even into hip hop, You've got to go to Mike um, Roth's blog on onstl.com. Watch the Volna Ramon video first, and then go up or no, no, down. Go down the line and uh, the timeline and watch the, the other earlier ones on there. You'll enjoy every one of them. I Thanks can't for wait. Up. Thank you. Yes, thank you guys.